Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing good. Uh, today we are going to discuss very interesting SQL problem asked in LNT interview. Uh, one of the YouTube subscriber gave me this problem. If you have some problems that you want me to put on my channel, you can send those problems to SQL dot Namaste at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, if the problem is good enough to put on the channel, I will create a video and put the solution. So do send me the questions. I will try to put them as soon as possible. Okay, so let's understand this problem. What I will do, I will put the insert statement and create table statement in the description box. So before checking out my solution, I will encourage all, all of you to try yourself. And after that, you can check out my solution. So here's the simple question that we have an employee table, right? We have employee name, department ID, salary. We need to print for each department, the highest salary employed and lowest salary employed. For example, department ID 1, the highest salary is of Prasad. So here we have Prasad. And the lowest salary is of Siva. Now we can have multiple employees. I have just put two, but the solution should be like, we can have any number of employees. Maximum salary employees should come in first column and minimum salary employees should come in second column. Similarly for department ID 2, the highest salary is of Ravi, 40,000 and Sai 20,000, right? So now I will solve this question using two methods, right? Before we start discussing that, you can stop this video, take the insert statement, create table statement and try it yourself, okay? I am starting with my first solution, okay? First solution we will do using case when and aggregation, okay? Second solution we will do using window functions, okay? So solution first will be using uh, case when and aggregation and join these three things we will use in the second one we will use uh, ranking and yes we will use rank and aggregation obviously along with case when okay so let's do one by one okay let's keep the keep uh, uh, this just input Okay, so what I need first is, I need to know in each department, what is the maximum and minimum salary? That is my first requirement. Once I have that information, then I can filter based on that, that which, which employee has higher salary, which employee has max, minimum salary, and then I can do the further processing. So first thing is, we need to find minimum and maximum salary. I'll do, I'll say select department ID, comma minimum of salary. as min salary comma maximum of salary as max salary right group by our table sorry from our table let me take it little down yeah by department ID. So for each department ID, I will get the minimum and the maximum salary. Okay, this is the first step. Right, I have got minimum salary and maximum salary. Now next step is, I need to join it back with the original employee table to get minimum salary and maximum salary in the same row. So how I will do, I will just create a CT of it with CT as this. Okay. And then again, we have select from employee, right? I will just run this again. So this is my department ID, minimum salary, maximum salary. Now what I will do with the employee table, I will just do inner join on with CT, right? On E dot, I will join on department ID, right? You will see what is happening. E dot department ID equal to CT dot department ID right in the output I will take everything from employee table and along with that I need minimum salary and maximum salary right okay let's run this and see what is the output okay so we have got for each row right for department ID one if you see 
what is the salary it is individual salary of shiva and prasad but this is the minimum salary right for department id 1 minimum salary so we have got minimum salary in both the rows because i have drawn on department id department id for this department id what was the minimum salary 30000 for department id 1 what is the maximum salary 50000 right now we can check we can check which employee so this employee will have has salary equal to minimum salary in this row so we have got everything at same row the advantage of this is now we can compare easily okay this guy's salary is equal to minimum salary which means in this department shiva has minimum salary right for prasad if you see his salary is equal to maximum salary of his department so we can say prasad has maximum salary in his department so we always have to bring the columns in the same row so that we can compare them similarly for department id 2 now what i have to do i will create one more column just just carefully look look here case when case when salary right this column salary equal to max salary right then i am taking employee name else null by default also it is null you don't have to give it but i am just giving it for the information as as highest or max um, this is max salary employee right and similarly case when salary equal to min salary then employee name as min salary employee right now we will run this again okay so what we have got for department id 1 right i have got two rows so far so for for department id 1 if you see this guy has minimum salary so i have got this name as shiva right in the minimum salary employee i have got shiva for prasad this column is null because his salary is equal to max salary so for the max salary column his name is there so when i say salary equal to max salary right salary equal to max salary right then employee name right else null so prasad salary is equal to max salary so his name is there right and for shiva his salary is not equal to max salary right for him it is null right similarly for min salary column right now for department id 1 what i need if i can take just this value out of null and prasad if i choose prasad and out of shiva and null i choose shiva i will get the output so how i can do i can just do ma max or minimum of this column right in that way what will happen whenever we do aggregate functions max min they just ignore the null values so when i say max of this column it will give prasad when i say max of minimum column it will say shiva okay so i need just department id in the output i will say department id i will remove everything else i don't need anything and i will say max of give me max of this and also give me max of this and now i have to do group by because i want one row for each department id so i will group them together i'm grouping them together and saying give me max of this and max of this right and i will have the output uh there is some syntax error okay i have put two commas okay so we have the output we have the maximum salary employed prasad for department id 1 and minimum salary shiva similarly for department id 2 we have ravi as maximum salary and minimum salary of sai okay i hope this is clear let me let me run this table separately so that we can check our output select so start from emp we will uh, wait we have to discuss we have to discuss one more solution right using window function so check that one uh, check that one as well okay so this was our input to so sell department id one the ma minimum salary is of shiva right and maximum salary is of prasad similarly for department id two maximum salary is ravi ravi and for two minimum salary is sign okay so no matter how many number of employees are there in particular department we will always get the right output okay now let's try to understand the second method using window functions okay so let me just do this again select star from this one 
right now instead of min max what i will do i will get a rank i will get a rank by doing by doing a descending order of salary and ascending order of salary so let me show you order by is not required i'll say select star from employee and i will take rank or row number anything is fine for this data over partition partition by department id so for each department id i want to create a separate rank right partition by department id order by salary descending so first i am doing descending okay i will say as rank descending okay similarly i will create one more column row number over partition by this ascending so by default it is ascending even if you don't give it it is ascending okay i will say rank ascending okay so what will happen in each department employee with highest salary will get rank 1 of rank descending right in rank descending that guy will get rank 1 and the person with lowest salary will get rank 1 in rank ascending wala column okay so if i run this now so you see shiva shiva salary is minimum right so in the ascending one he is getting rank 1 okay okay similarly similarly in this department department id 2 right this guy has highest salary so in the rank descending he is getting 1 right so if someone is getting rank 1 in rank descending he has highest salary in his department if someone is getting rank 1 in rank ascending he has the highest salary in his department right again i will create a ct and say select from ct right and i will just say ct dot star comma i don't have to say because there is only one table so i can just select star comma case when similar thing we will do now case when rank descending equal to 1 then employee name right else null i am just not putting it as max salary employee right who the one who has highest rank in the descending rank uh, highest rank in the descending rank 1 in the descending wala he will have maximum salary right and similarly in the ascending wala whoever has rank 1 he will get minimum salary employee and now let's run this again we are at the same situation right employee id 1 uh, uh, employee seva right his name is there in minimum salary employee because he has rank ascending as 1 right same thing so we are at the same situation when we were in the previous question right now what we have to do we have to just say department id and again i will take max or you can take min anything is fine both will work similarly here min group by department id that is it so again we got department id 1 max salary prasad min salary shiva department b 2 max salary ravi min salary sign right in these two approach this part is same right this part is same just the case when is different here we are using window function and we are making use of ranking that highest salary employee will have rank 1 when we are ordering in descending order lowest salary employee will have rank 1 when we are sorting in ascending order right and we are taking 1 1 accordingly in the previous approach we just compared exactly what is the minimum salary and maximum salary so we got the maximum and minimum salary separately and then doing a equal to sign and doing it so it is same thing it is just a way of doing it is a different right i hope this video helps uh, please share this video like this video so that it can reach maximum people thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye